Uh, the first time I became aware, where I think, uh, you know, I, I think, were we working on Willow when you guys were doing Wally the Bee, or was it something I else? So, yeah. I think it was something like that. Yeah. So, we, I mean, we would share yeah. movieolas, you know, and, and we would be waiting to get on, and, and I would be waiting to look at something, and, and John would bring stuff in, put it on, and Wally the Bee stuff would come up, I, you know, like going, okay, good luck, guy. <laughs> 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 yeah, whatever. <laughs> and uh, you know, I had no idea, you know, where where it was going to go. I, I I couldn't. I didn't have you know whatever it took to to read it. I had no you know really uh, any clue about technology at all, other than the technology that you know we were working with at, at the time, which was a um, which was probably like kind of a weird you know uh, alchemical prehistoric version of computer graphics. It was like this thing called Go Motion. Which was a, basically a computer graphic, uh, I mean, a, a computer driven puppet, like a Bunraku Japanese puppet that had a, like all these X, Y, and Z you know, servos on it. And I, I'd like grown up and, and trained myself in the craft of stop motion animation, which is basically you know, sc sculpting movement in time, where you actually physically do creative performance that starts and ends, and that's what it is. You, know, you do it over a 15 or 20 hour period. And what you end up with in film is the thing. But as the B movies of the 50s and the 60s, you know, turned into the, you know, A movies of the, of the you know, late 70s and, and the 80s, it, it, it kind of, you know, became essential to try and figure out, you know, some of the uh, next steps that we could use. And they were pretty much handed to us on a platter. Uh, uh, John Dykstra and, and Richard Edlin had developed all the motion control stuff, right, mm -hmm. and, uh, mm -hmm. for, for Star Wars. Mm -hmm. And we just began, you know, plugging in stop motion puppets on a very similar, I mean, a ver very simplistic level to that, just to get some kind of a motion blur, because our racket's like different than yours. I mean, you're, you're creating like whole worlds, and, and what we're doing is we're creating parts of worlds that relate to Earth-specific gravity and have to relate to live action performers and, and work editorially within the, the context of a theatrical feature film that's shot on location someplace else and all the complications that go along with that uh, that I won't get into. <laughs> but, you know, this, uh, this go motion thing was an interim device to try and achieve, you know, the, the effect of motion blur, the, the, the artifact that you get when you run something at 24, you know, frames a second mm -hmm. and it's wiggling around, you get this artifact that's like a, a blur that kind of equivocates to the person's, you know, blurs don't really exist <laughs> except on film. You know, I, I can't see a blur, you know, yeah. it's yeah. just like, you know, whatever. And, <laughs> it's, you know, so I, it was, I saw the Wally the Bee thing and it was, you know, it just, you know, it wasn't part of my universe, really. You guys were going someplace I, I never expected. Yeah, but my, my buddy Dennis Murin at, at ILM was, you know, way ahead of the curve and, and started, you know, uh, getting wise to what was going on and, and they went through the historical, uh, you know, steps of, you know, taking the baby steps and doing, you know, Young Sherlock, The Abyss, and yeah. then... Did, did you guys do some stuff on Dragon Slayer? Like, remember that dragon? Did he do was, some stuff on Dragon guy, Slayer? Right? Right? Holy Man. shit. But it was not <laughs> when that dragon That's is crawling out of that ass, cave... Yeah. I mean, you're like, it's real, run! <laughs> no, it was pretend. <laughs> it's like those people in Paris looking at the train coming at them and running out of the theater. That's what I felt like. Yeah, that was all go it. motion. And all the go motion stuff lasted for, I, I mean, historically, like it was like, like a blip you know, between stop motion that had been there for like, you know, the better part of you know, half a century. And computer graphics, you know, it was it was like this weird little animal that lived for like you know a, a million years and then died, but you but, could tell. I mean, I you're, you're playing. It was awesome. It I mean, was, what you uh, did with that stuff, it made these things for the first time. Stop motion really was real. I mean, it was this motion blur and that Dragon Slayer stuff. So I'm serious. It just blew my mind and all of us. I mean, I think it was really one of the things that put yeah. it on the map. It was it, fantastic. It, it, it was a pain in the ass. 